course I've got a few tools here so part of being a survivalist is having the right tools to help you survive in any given situation so wherever I go I try to use what the locals use so I do a lot of work in jungles um, and this one actually came from the Amazon so this is this is a machete and then to me these are not weapons they're they're tools um, and it's really important to, for me to remember that uh, this one's actually made from melted springs from cars melted down into metal it's quite soft but then the wood that you're cutting with that is soft as well so as you go through you're hacking away and cutting a path through the through the jungle and this was this was made to me by for me by one of the local tribes that I was working with um, this one was made by a friend of mine it's a copy of a, an Iban parang like a machete uh, like a jungle machete it's a copy of one but made by a friend you want to hold it you feel how heavy that is so with it you want just be careful because the edge is very sharp but with it you want the weight of a machete to be on the the end so as you're cutting you're kind of flicking through want to pass back nice yeah so these these ones because it's so short i tend to use this when i'm hanging on uh on ropes and i need to be close into the cliff so I tend to use the smaller one rather than the larger one, just to put up close. So when I'm clearing, like hanging on, on ropes and things. So there's a couple of the machetes and then I've got various different axes as well. This one tends to come in my rucksack because it's so small. And I use that for splitting like the smaller bits of, of wood. Pass it to you. There you go and then this this one was uh, this was actually my first axe when I first started teaching bushcraft and survival um, and I've had it for such a long time and it kind of goes everywhere with me so on all the film shoots and stuff I do this comes along with me but you can really feel the weight so when you're using an axe at the weights you can feel it all the weights in the head there because you're using the weight rather than using your arms you're using the weight of the, the axe saw so, this is like this is like one of the key things of uh, survival bushcraft just because it saves so much energy. So I always have like a little saw with me for cutting tinder and kindling and things for, for fires. And that, that goes everywhere. And then I've got various different knives made for me by various different knife makers. Some of that's, that's one, this one's a diving knife. Some of these are actually, I can only use them in certain countries. You see a lot of them. This is the one that I'm using most at the moment. This is made for me by a friend of mine. You see how sharp it is. But I can do so much with it. So it's got a full tang, like the metal goes all the way through the handle. So it's super strong. So I can actually use it to kind of split wood. I can batten on it, so I can hammer on it and it's almost unbreakable. Some more traditional these are like um this was like a tomahawk this was like um, a native american indian axe this one so i tend to try to use what the local peoples use this is like a small rescue knife for when in kayaking it sits on my buoyancy aid when i'm doing any sort of swift water rescue stuff so that I can pull it out so I can cut lines, ropes and stuff underwater with it. And then keeping it sharp. So you tend to use what I call a strop, which is just a leather belt. And that's just for keeping, keeping the edge honed. And then I've got a sharpening stones and things that I take with me to get rid of any dinks and stuff. Cause I'm really bad when I'm cutting at hitting rocks and destroying the edges of the blades. So all of these, all of these ones go on different adventures with me depending on which environment I'm working in and how wet the environment is as well. What is your favourite tools? Um, so my favourite tool is like if I'm in temperate environments so like the UK I have a knife, a saw and my axe so those are the three that go with me into temperate environments. If I'm working in the jungle I'll take take those three so I've always got always got my little saw always got a knife which is really good for cleaning animals and carving and things and then I've got my larger tool for cutting larger things so either machete or, or an axe 
For more details, including safety information, check out the Scouts website.